Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to be looking at five amazing productivity apps you should be using in Canva today. So let's dive on to the first one. Hey everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on this channel, look, smash the subscribe button for me. And if you're an OG, massive respect to you. I really appreciate you for the continued support. So yes, there are so many apps in Canva actually, and there are five of them. I think you should be using them today, today, today. If you are not using them, and I really think you are missing out. So what is the first one? The first one is drum rolls. <laughs> Instagram and yes you may be thinking ah, how come Instagram yes you can actually connect your Instagram to Canva oh my god wow and this is very interesting look let me even just go into Canva and let me come into my apps okay so and the apps you should really see a lot of amazing apps in here but you can just search for Instagram okay and this really comes in handy when sometimes you have a photo on Instagram and you wish you could you know just take that photo and edit it in Canva it's just going to be a whole other process so this app just helps you to connect Instagram to your Canva you get to see all your feed live in Canva select any of them edit them and if you also have your you know your Instagram account connected to Canva in a way that you can schedule post or post any content to Instagram you can just do that straight in Canva very easy and very like you know smart let me just show you let's go let's go let's do it. okay so choose it and you can see we have use in design and we have existing design okay so I can just maybe choose a new design for this custom dimension let's go for 1080 okay by 1350 okay and I'll just say hit a new design because I've been able to do this already it wouldn't let me connect okay I don't have to reconnect but once you're new you should should see the button which says connect okay so connect and do all the things you have to do but after you do it you should see something like this okay all my feed posts will be showing in here but the downside of this is that videos wouldn't play carousels you wouldn't see all 10 you only see the front photo or which is the first slide okay you only see that and um, that's the only downside but aside that you can actually just pick any of the images okay so I choose this you know if I want to edit it I can just do some edit and all that and afterwards if i want to post it on maybe instagram i can just come into more okay come into social instagram and i can just do the posting from here so schedule post from desktop okay or i can just choose post immediately so i can just choose this continue and all the posting gets to be done for me so now let's look at the app number two which is google drive so when it comes to google drive it's really important you are able to you know work seamlessly which means that you don't really need to open so many apps when you are working on a project and maybe let me just chip this in for every client you work with make sure you have a special google drive folder for the client so that you're able to upload all their brand assets in there and then once it's connected to canva which is your google drive you can just be you know accessing all these files directly from canva so let me just show you how we can also do this straight in canva okay so let me go back into um you know the apps okay we'll be staying here today okay so i can just search for google drive okay which should bring us you know google drive okay select it come to use in a new design no let me just choose existing design and we should see the untitled one okay it's not popping up so let me just come here project oh my boy oh my god oh my god okay so let's choose i hate creating blank and useless canvases i, I just hate it i don't know why Okay, so once it is connected, the same thing should happen. If you haven't done this already, you should see the button which says connect, okay, and just connect the two. But just know that you cannot connect your Canva to another Google Drive, which doesn't have the same email as what you have used for Canva. So for example, if my email I use to sign up for Canva is maybe ben1 at gmail.com, which should mean that the Google Drive account I'm connecting to with Canva should be the ben1 at gmail.com. I can't connected to ben2 at gmail.com keep that in mind okay so when you are in here you can see that you can have access to all your folders every single folder you have access to it so template you know so actually that's another downside the images have to be less than 25 megabytes okay but aside that everything should actually be very very like simple simple so you can see i have everything straight from my google drive i can import it and start working in there so let's say for example the client has given me images instead of me going 
going to download the images and uploading it in Canva, I can just asset everything from here and just directly start working on the images straight in Canva without even switching tabs. And this makes it my brain. Like seriously, you should do that. The third app you should connect your Canva to is Type Form. And look, even before I dive into this, I have another video which is going to teach you how to connect your Type Form to your Canva website. So watch out for that. Like, really, smash the subscribe button. Smash the subscribe button. So let me show you how you can do this. Okay, and this is very like sweet. So for Type Form, you should still come back in here and just search for Type Form. Okay, and it looks like I've forgotten how to spell Type Form. Once you connect it, any form you have, okay you can actually connect it here in canva so let me just come into create a new design okay and i'll just choose presentation okay so presentation 16 by 9 should be cool which is the um, you know normal type of thing okay <laughs> no by dimension i mean so once you know it's connected and look yeah, this with this with this you should still see the button which says what connect okay yeah so once you connect you should see that all the forms you have available in your type form account should you know be available here so you just select it and you can see we have you know the form in here okay so in this case i can just brand it okay so i can just maybe do this like this and do this like this okay then maybe i can change the color of the background to yellow or i can make it a gradient i can add maybe a text okay and press here and i can just see fill this form okay so Fill this form okay so once you do it and you share it with anyone they should be able to have access to this okay so for example if i come into you know share and i come to view link only okay and copy let me just switch tabs okay so i'll use a private window okay and um, we'll just paste the link in here so you can see how the whole thing gets to look like okay this is very sweet easy and you can see everything is loading nicely so i click on start everything just happens beautifully you know okay i can just say anything okay say anything okay yes i don't even know what i'm even saying no okay and um i can just say anything then okay okay oh my goodness how many questions did i put in here fantastic so you can see we've been able to fill a very quick form and this was done inside of canvas and let's move to the app number four which is hopspot and look if you are really wanting to go more into social media marketing, HubSpot is one of the apps you should be using. Okay, so let's see how we can do this in Canva. So come into, you know, under apps, we can just search for HubSpot. Okay, HubSpot. Okay, so once we select it, it's in here and um, you can also connect it. So I'll come to use and design in the presentation and this will help you to access every file you have in HubSpot. Okay, so images, folders, files, every single thing should be in there. Okay and um, just in case you also have maybe multiple accounts once you're connecting it you should have the option to choose the particular account you want to connect canva to okay and everything should be very easy and simple okay that's one thing about hubspot but if you don't have anything yet like myself you can see that this is actually a blank page i haven't really used the new hubspot account i created so it's blank but once you have any file in there everything should just happen automatically and you should be able to work seamlessly inside of canva okay Okay, and now let's move on to the last app which is the can lorem and this app is very interesting because let's say you're creating templates in canva and let's say at the moment you have no idea on the information you want to use you can use these dummy text okay and sometimes myself i find myself doing this a lot going to other websites to copy dummy text pasting it in canva and using it it's now time to say no more because the can lorem app would actually help you to do this very easily inside of canva so let's get cracking let's check it out so i I'll just come in here and say can lorem okay and um, we have it over here which says generate lorem emerson placeholder text okay yeah it's a placeholder text okay so i can say use in a design and um, i can choose presentation okay okay so once we have it open we should be able to come up with some placeholder text very easily and very simple okay so we have words sentences and paragraphs okay so depending on what you want you can just choose so maybe i just want to go for sentence okay now of sentences maybe just four should be fine and i can say add to design so you can see it's giving me something simple in here okay so if you want more you can come to paragraphs and i can just say maybe i want 10 paragraphs okay then add to design this helps you to add placeholder text in your design which means that they are just like dummy text they have no sense or no meaning so they are just there to occupy space matter you get it 
If you don't get it, forget about it. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, smash the like button. If you're looking for more Canva videos, the video on the screen is the next video I would highly recommend to you. And as always, there's no limit to creativity and I should see you in my next video.